Hello friend, welcome in the 30 days of code in HackerGuy. So today is the day 19 and today we solve the problem about interfaces. So let's go to the problem. So at first, what is the interfaces? So for that, I simply open the tutorials point interfaces concept. So here an interfaces describe the behavior and the capabilities of C++ class without committing to a particular implementation of that class. So it is the definition of this interfaces but it is more or less the same as the pure virtual function and we see the pure virtual function in the day 13 abstract class. So I think you understand this problem by the concept of this pure virtual function but if you want to know more about the interfaces you simply go through either this tutorial tab or search in this google for more concept about interfaces. So let's go to the problem and at first read the talk section. So the advanced arithmetic interface and the method declaration for the abstract division sum method are provided for you in the editor below. That means the advanced arithmetic class is present in my editor. So I simply expand this section by clicking this three dot. So here is the class advanced arithmetic class. So complete the implementation of the calculator class. So you simply complete the calculator class present in this editor so which implement the advanced arithmetic interface the implementation for this divisor sum method must return the sum of all the divisors of n so that means you simply return the divisor sum of n and inside of this calculator class you simply write this code for return the divisor sum of n. So for this problem you simply take an input in a single line which is n and it is integer type and then it is the range so n from 1 to 1000 so after that the output format so you are not responsible for printing anything to std out so that means all the code present in this editor are responsible for printing the output so you are not responsible for printing the output so in the sample input here is the 6 present which is n and after that you simply return the divisor sum of this 6 so here is the explanation section present and the fourth divisor of this 6 is 1 2 3 and 6 so the divisor sum of this 6 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 that means 12 so that's why the 12 is printed on the output so i think you understand this problem so i simply go to my hacker rank editor and for this problem i simply select the c++ language and so at first i simply click in this three dot to expand this section so at first it simply take the input from user as the integer n and then here the advanced arithmetic class and the object is my calculator and here is the calculator function and after that here declare the sum variable and the sum equal to my calculator and it is point out the division sum function and finally it simply print the sum in the output screen so here is the class advanced arithmetic and inside of that a virtual function is present which is division sum so we see in the abstract class problem when we give the value of the virtual function is zero then simply it is called that pure virtual function so here is the divisor sum is the pure virtual function and it is not here not present any definition of this function so after that it simply inherit the property of this advanced arithmetic class into the calculator class and inside of this calculator class we simply 
derive the definition of this division sum so i simply complete this division sum function so i simply declare a variable inside of this function and name it sum and simply make a for loop and inside of for loop declare i and give it zero and i less than or equal to the n and then i plus plus so here the i equal to not zero here the loop is start from one and after that it simply check if n and modulus i equal to equal to zero that means the i is the divisor of n variable and inside of this you simply write sum plus equal to i so it simply calculate the divisor sum of this n variable and after that you simply return the sum i think this is the simple and small code to solve this problem i simply check by clicking the run code button and it shows that the all the test case 0 1 and 2 is passed so simply click submit code button to test some additional test cases and all the test cases are passed and we got 30 points so i think you understand this interfaces problem and if you have any doubt then please comment on the comment section please like and share my videos and please subscribe my channel and press this bell icon to get notification when i upload a new video so this is for the day 19 see you in the day 20 thank you friend goodbye